We woke up bright and early in Boise the next morning. We had it in mind that we wanted to check out a couple of spots. One of them was the Capitol building. It was actually really nice because it was a Saturday morning. There was no traffic, no cars, no people. So we were able to just park across the street, walk up, snap a picture, and carry on. When we were done looking at the Capitol building, we got back in the truck and drove along real quick to the Idaho State Penitentiary. This place was really fascinating for us, at least what we could see of it, because we love watching um, ghost hunters and they filmed here. We love old buildings, we love history and creepy, the creep factor. I mean, we love all of that stuff. So this was a cool stop. The museum there was closed. Uh, there was really not a lot to see, but we did just try to scope out what we could, what we could get to on foot. Um, and so it was really neat. We walked up this hill behind the penitentiary grounds and we were able to look down at it. Um, clearly, if we had paid and waited for the place to open and taken the official tour, we would have gotten to see a lot more and probably learn a few things as well. But we didn't have all day. We had destinations to get to, so we had to carry on and hit the highway as soon as we could. But it was great that we were able to make the time to at least stop in and take a look anyways. Maverick stop. We have grown to like the Maverick 
uh, little truck stops because they're so comfortable. It's a good place to run the dog and uh, just have everything you need. So here we are. We're just kind of stretching our legs and enjoying the cool grass and the shade. And our dog is basically going ape over over the grass and she found some stuff to get into so that's not good. But I'm not sure if you can hear this, but across the street there's this like monster truck rodeo jam going on. They're announcing over the loudspeakers. It's so cool. You just don't where we live this isn't a thing. Like, you know, you just don't have that. So every now and then <laughs> what like rodeos a, and stuff? Yeah, but they probably have a rodeo here every couple times a month. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we drove by and it's like there was a big lineup of like maybe 10 super jacked like raised monster trucks and no. It was it looks like a lot of fun and if we had time we'd probably stop and Watch that kind of thing cuz hey, He likes grazer. monster trucks and everything trucks And our dog is Eating grass, I don't I don't know. That's what she wants to do so um, anyway, just here chilling before we hit the road again for another who knows how many hours. So we're just taking advantage of the cool breeze while we can. We noticed that where we are, it's a bit cooler than where, where what it was in um, Idaho. So we're a little bit thankful for that, but I'm sure it's about to get a lot hotter as we go south anyway. So no grass. Hey, no, no grass. conversation what time is it hun is it almost five now 420 420 of course it's 420 it's always 420 if you ask him what time it is <laughs> or how much something costs it's 420 um, we're obviously in a pool and it's so wonderful I this is great like, this is <coughs> after today this is all I could have asked for um, we are in a little town called Phil Fillmore? Fillmore, Fillmore yeah. Utah? Like, I was thinking Fullerton, Fillmore, okay, Fillmore. And um, they have a KOA here. We found a KOA. We actually looked at KOAs in Provo and um, not just those, we looked at some really nice RV parks that were kind of east of Salt Lake City um, in the mountains, but everything was full. Um, Utah, residents know how to recreate that's for sure so everything is um, really kind of hard to get into this weekend it's Saturday night um, it's Saturday afternoon so um, we we decided to keep driving south a little bit further since that's kind of our where we're heading anyway um, just might as well do a little bit longer of a drive so today we drove for how many hours we don't even know we're like losing track now we're about we, 1100 miles into the trip we're 1100 miles into the trip and it's day two, so yikes. So we found a tent site. It was the last one. I reserved it online like at lunchtime um, from my phone. <laughs> um, so I was really glad that I nabbed it because I don't really know where we would have stayed. Like as a last resort, we might have just found a hotel. Um, but it's so important out here to make sure that in July, 
if you're gonna be tent camping or truck camping like we are, you have to have shade. Uh, you're gonna be miserable without it. So that kind of like this pre prerequisite now. And um, so we found the shady spot. We got the last online reservable spot, nabbed it, and uh, they were ready for us when we got here. What else did we do today? We, we stopped in Salt Lake City. We just kind of took a little detour and Scott really wanted to go see Temple Square. Um, we didn't really know what to expect and we weren't planning it today. So it was kind of this like impromptu detour and we just kind of drove around it a couple times. Um, get, you know, just check it out. Like we've never been there. Like it, it, um, but I think we'll be back next week uh, to spend a little bit more dedicated time in the city. Of Salt Lake, but um, just we just drove through. We we're like, okay, we should probably just carry on <laughs> at this point. So, <sighs> we got Mister doing laps in the pool, but can't blame him. All right, I think that's um that's it for this check-in. So, day two, a lot of time on the road, um, a lot of time on Highway 15, but uh, we survived, and now we're cooling off and we so far have nothing but great things to say about the KOA here and I forget the town name again Fillmore Fillmore I keep thinking Fullerton I don't know why but anyway all right have a great day you guys we will see you soon